not the session for that. <clears throat> okay. So let us start the kids. Yeah. So let me share my screen. Sir, what is the new topic? Okay, kids. So far, we had been learning various uh, tactics, techniques, right? Which can help yes, you sir. your end game, right? So we will continue doing that actually. But meanwhile, because uh, I want to focus on the opening part as well. Okay. So what now we are going, we are going to start with the openings as well. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, and I'll keep it mixed. I mean, we will uh, learn one opening. Okay, then immediately after that. We will have the kind of tournament, internal tournament, where I will ask you guys to play with each other with the same opening which we are learning. Okay. Generally, in the tournament, you play as of your choice, right? Whatever you want to play. But then, because we want to study that opening and I want to check whether you are able to learn and apply that, okay, what we will do? We will have the tournament and with that restricted opening that say for example king's indian if we are learning king's indian attack king's indian defense then i will suggest that you play according to that only okay and how the uh, game further goes on that we will check okay so it's not a tournament today kids okay today we are not sure. a tournament i am just telling you that when we learn the opening in the next session, you can apply that kind of, okay? Not, maybe not immediately the next session, after three, four sessions, when you learn everything, then we will have the tournament, okay? Any questions, kids? No, sir. No, sir. Okay. Sir, I already know various types of openings. Can I tell them? Yes, what are all the names you are aware of, Abhir? I I know King's Gambit, Queen's Gambit, okay. the Tennyson Gambit. Okay. The... Sir, I know the okay. slide lever attack. The okay, Sir defense, the Sir okay. defense, the Sicilian defense. Okay. And, and the Berlin defense as well. Wow, that's great. So, do you know all these uh, openings or you just heard the names a bit? I know these openings. Okay, so when you play, do you apply all this in your games? Yes, sir, I apply them. Which, which, which opening do you generally use? I use the Tennyson Gambit or the or the Berlin Defense. Okay, and how many of the times you were successfully using those openings? Um. 60% I was successful. Okay. Okay. Great. That's great actually. So that is what we are going to do kids. Okay. And honestly speaking, I, I, although we will learn all these openings, uh, you know, over the period of time, but I will suggest you to stick to one or two openings. Okay. Say for example, if you started with Berlin defense, Abir, for example. Okay. So I will suggest that whenever you are playing with black, by the way, uh, let me tell you these kids, okay? Uh, defense is always played by black, okay? And attack is always played by white. Is this difference known to you, kids? Yes, sir. I have uh, noticed many games. It actually happens if we, uh, you know, follow the same moves as white. If we play something and uh, if we play the same, it might be a little messy. Right. As, all of, as all of you know that. Sir, white, and the gambits, first, right? and the gambits are always played by white. Right. White starts the game, right? So the yes. first attack is done by white. That is the reason when we talk about chase openings, okay, generally it always, uh, in fact, every game starts with white only, right? So when we study openings, okay, so th those openings are for white actually. And when we talk about defense, that is also one type of opening only. So it is kind of how do you respond to your 
opponent when yes, why, when white attacks how do you respond to that so those moves defines which defense you are trying or you are playing from black side so always remember when i talk about any opening any gambit any attack that is always white side and when i talk about any defense then that is always from black side so when abir said that he plays berlin defense for example so because the word is defense over there i could immediately make out that it is from the black side okay so when I, because you don't know right that whether you are going to get white or black right suppose you got the white so will at that point of time will your berlin defense be helpful kids not really okay because that is to be played from black side however for the similar one we have the roy lopez opening right berlin defense is one of the variation of roy lopez okay so if you play roy lopez so indirectly you are studying the same opening right so when i say that you need to prepare for one or two that means you have to prepare for one opening from white side and another opening or another defense to be specific from the black side okay so when i when i'm going to teach you roy lopez at the same time i will teach you the berlin defense as well because i never know right whether you are playing from white side or whether you are going to play from black side so we should be prepared from both the sides is is that clear kids yes sir yes rishab you have any sir? question yes sir i wanted to ask why should we only stick to one or two openings then wouldn't we be predictable and the opponent will have an advantage over us ki yeah this guy is going to play with this opening or this opening nothing else correct correct so a uh, reason for that rishab when i say you should stick to okay that is for the current level the current level that you kids are at okay there, there is one saying in marathi okay if you must have heard ek na dhad bhara var chindya have you heard this no sir iska matlab ye hota hai ki aapne ek bhi cheez or in english we say actually a uh, jack of all and master of none you must have heard this right iska yes, matlab ye hai ki ek bhi cheez dhang se nahi aati aur hum bolte ki mujhko sab kuch aata hai but ye hota hai kya actually nahi ho payega right because when i talk about one opening you know it takes years to master that opening okay i am using the word it takes years okay to master that opening so that is the reason what i am saying when you learn that okay we will learn everything right in syllabus as well we we'll learn everything right in any subject we we'll learn everything but the thing is which one you master for the one which you know attracts it to another thing which seems interesting for you and third important thing is which you like correct so there are hundreds of openings okay what do you mean by opening opening is nothing but when you play so any set game. of moves which are played at the starting of a game correct so as we learned earlier there are three phases of the game one is opening phase middle game middle game and end game, and end game. right so till the time you are castling the king so initial 8 to 10 moves right initial 8 to 10 moves that you play they are nothing but the openings as soon as you are done with your castling you enter into the middle game correct so when we when i am saying that we are going to learn opening those will be restricted to the initial 8 to 10 sometimes 15 moves okay but not beyond that because honestly speaking you will not be able to memorize more than that your memorizing capacity your capability is up to like 10 or 15 moves right beyond that it will be difficult for you in fact 10 is also very difficult if i say you that uh say for example if i if you ask me what is roy lopez i will immediately tell you actually e4 e5 u knight to f3 knight to c6 and then bishop to b5 right so 
when you provide this like if you played this he played the he responded with this then you attack on this pawn with this right so he brought the defense from this correct and then you are answering like this okay i will remove this removing the defender we already learned that concept right so as soon as you remove this pawn is unprotected and you can capture that for example now whether to capture that or not we will learn separately but then this setup that you enter into okay this particular setup that you are entering correct sorry yeah that you are entering from okay this is called as roy lopez okay anyways we are going to learn this but then this is nothing but a opening now as soon as this is free right he will play this and he will do the this is the board in defense right so when you respond to your roy lopez with knight to f6 okay this is called as berlin defense okay so you got the idea kids how the openings are going to be okay and yes, this sir. this is it i mean learning those four moves and you know the opening okay i mean at least from the knowing part but does that mean that you can say that i can play berlin defense no it's not like that okay however this is the initial setup okay or so is the case when i when i am playing this for example you played this i played this you played this i played this right you may you may want to bring this excuse indian opening right sir correct correct okay and now i am showing this there. before yeah this is the king's indian opening okay now when you are playing this setup from white side it is king's indian opening and when you are doing the same thing from black side because from black side as well i can play this i can bring this out i can play this i can do castle right so it becomes king's indian defense is this clear kids yes sir okay so this is called as opening and we are going to study the openings theory from this session today okay so are you guys ready and excited to learn kids yes yes, yes sir, sir. Sir, can I tell how the ten tennis and gambit goes? We will take it later on, Abhir. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sir, and I just wanted to tell you from where I I know this openings. Uh mm huh. -hmm. There is a there is a channel on YouTube. Okay. Called Chess Talk. They show different traps, checkmate. Right. Okay, so it is good, 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 good idea. Okay, I am happy. Yeah, I am happy that you are watching all such videos and learning new techniques. Okay, new openings, new techniques, new tactics. Okay, you are studying the games which are played by the grandmasters and all. Okay, because all these channels. Okay, they are they are really doing a wonderful job, kids. Okay, for uh, the chess community, right? So. those who want to really build their uh, chess skills okay because uh, i i visited abhir's house actually okay kids so i i know how interestingly he is doing that and all okay so on similar lines i will recommend each one of you to also go through such videos okay however as i mentioned don't you know jump into many things otherwise like jack of all and master of none so we we don't want to go over there right so uh, what i will suggest if you started studying one thing for example right so roy lopez for example so you study only roy lopez at least till the time you get mastery into it don't even watch the other uh, gambits or other uh, things what otherwise what will happen in your brain there will be mix and match of everything right and you will not be able to master that okay so that is the only reason i said you should stick to one opening does that answer your answer, uh, question prisha yes sir okay and are you satisfied with that or not yes sir okay yes, sir. now I, i later on i will come to your uh, second part actually that people will start seeing that oh you always play this right it is obvious yes when you are playing okay when you participate in the tournament your opponent instead of studying the chess they study the opponent 
who is he what is his rating which opening he plays right so what will be my strategy to play against that player this is what they do actually and for your information do you know say for example magnus carlsen okay the world champion or vishwanath ananand another world champion the ex world champion right they have their own team they have their own team of grand masters who assist them who assist them in studying their opponents for the upcoming tournaments deciding the strategies deciding the plans that what he should play okay and helping those grand masters to prove themselves okay so when we say magnus carlsen is a world champion is a half truth kids okay we just take the name of magnus carlsen but he is not the only world champion his entire team's credit is behind it his coach okay his uh, assistants right all those assistant grand they are also grand master they are also great because when you give advice to a grand master or to a world champion you also need to be of that caliber right so i mean th this is what actually the fact we just see that tendulkar is the great cricket player okay but there is a entire team which is working behind it right i gave the examples to you kids as well like when you get medal or trophy or uh, the first prize in school right your name is taken nishka for example or rishab stood first in the class but is it only his or her success no there are parents behind it there are teachers behind it right there are many many factors correct so is the case for chess opening as well okay so when you say that uh, people will know yes obviously they should know actually and when you also are participating you should also know you should also come with that strategy this is called as planning preparing you know des designing your strategy and when you start doing all these things in your life no project will be a failure for you you will always be prepared because that kind of mindset is built within you and that is actually what i want whether you become grand master or not is secondary thing for me but if you imbibe all these qualities within you i am sure that one fine day you will be a good human being you will be a good or a great person in life where success will always be with you and even if at any stage because of something you get failed nothing wrong in it you are going to learn out of it that is what we do in our tournaments as well right from every failed game we learn right and we step up we take the next step out of that are we are we giving up kids no those who are giving up say for example yes, you also you also know that when we started class we had minimum 12 to 14 kids in our class right day day by day some kids are giving up but then who is going to lose they are going to lose yes. they are not going to lose the kid the kids which give up right so and as i said it's not only about chess kids i always talk about the life lessons related to it okay so that is going to help us anyways kids so without uh, wasting too much time on that let's start learning chess openings okay the first one as i said i am going to start with the first one very interesting roy lopez okay yeah so uh as i already shown you roy lopez starts with e4 okay now when we talk about e4 what exactly we are achieving by playing e4 kids so bishop we uh, achieve that bishop gets free and the queen also we can move good. the bishop and the queen free sir and we are also controlling the golden Correct. yeah we are controlling the golden absolutely so all of you rightly identified it you are absolutely correct kids okay so this is as per opening principle first thing all of you know the opening principles kids right because yes, we are talking about opening we must know opening principles okay for those who do not know or maybe just to revise quickly okay can can anybody tell me one by one 
Abir, can you start yes, first? Yes. Opening the opening principle says that always play e5, e4, e5, or knight, knight to f3, knight to c3, mm -hmm. or what, knight what to f6, knight to c6. What is the reason? <laughs> Sorry. What is e the reason for d4, d4? Or e4? Yes. Because then we control the control center. The central square. We control, yes, we get the control of the center. Right. So always control the center. That is what the first opening principle is. Okay. What it means, you need to control these squares. And why, why to control these central squares, kids? Because when you control these squares, you have the control over the game. Right? What does it mean? When you have any of your piece sitting here, okay, you can attack anywhere, for example, like this, right? Can you see? It is attacking on yes. majority of the opponent's pieces. Majority in the sense almost all, except these two, when your two pieces are here. Okay, and if your other two pieces are here, they are controlling this as well. The entire opponent's team is on your radar. Sir, but the bishops are not uh, controlled. Do you need to? No, not really. Right? So, no. they, they are already blocked. No. They are already blocked. They, they cannot do anything actually unless and until it gets opened. Right? So, long story short, because of this, you can control your entire opponent's army. Okay, and that is the reason these are called as the golden squares. However, however, keeping your pieces here is also equally danger for you. Correct? It is just, it is just like in the open ground, you are sit going and standing there. Hey, I am here, come, fight with me. Okay? So if you do like this and somebody comes and shoots you directly, you are gone. Correct? So, that, that, when I say you control the center, but with a strategy, okay, not like you keep the queen over there, someone will come and capture your queen, and then later on you come and say, my my chess coach only told me that you control the center, okay, but that doesn't mean that you keep your pieces openly, anybody will come and capture, okay, it means strategically, right, and that is the reason we start with e4. So when you start with e4, what you are doing, you are not only opening these two diagonals, okay, but also you are controlling the central squares like d4, uh, d5 and f5, okay, as well as e4 anyways, you, you yourself standing over there, so indirectly it is controlled, right. So when you, yes, when, when you think like this, your opponent will also think on similar lines. Nishka, any question or suggestion? What? No, sir, I not. No, I just had sir? another. Yes, a bit. And the opening which I was telling the tennis in gambit, it is a gambit and it helps us to capture the queen in only four moves. Okay. Okay, go ahead and tell a bit. What should I play? E4. E4. Black page plays D5. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then we play, we don't capture it. We play knight to f3. Knight to f3. f3. Okay. Then the, then black captures the pawn. Black captures the pawn. Okay. Yes. Then knight to g5. Knight to g5. Okay. Then knight to f6. It comes to f6, okay. Yes, then d3. Mm -hmm. Then it it also eats up the pawn, that pawn. Then bishop captures the pawn. Okay. Then uh, black plays something like it attacks the knight. Something like this? Yes. And then you have to play. Yeah, you have to capture it and then give the check. The king will obviously capture, why it will move. Right. 
Yes. Yeah, I mean, yes, it will capture, yes. But then you are yes, lo even losing this. Yes, it, yes. That is the tennis and gambit. Correct. So, when we enter here, actually, so when, when you respond with this, kids. This is this Sicilian okay? defense. This is, yeah, this is Scandinavian defense, actually. Okay? Yes. So, when you uh, reply with this, and you let him capture, actually, right? So, when you yes. play knight two or three. We don't mind that it, it is undefended, defended. Right. No. So, when, when you give up kids, okay? When you give up anything, okay, that is called as gambit. That means you are giving something for free. Okay? Means a, a lesser value piece like a pawn, when it we give it free, that's called a gambit. So even for the higher value as well, right? Queen's gambit, somebody talked about, right? Yes, queen's gambit means, I will tell you, mm -hmm. it, if we play d4, then d5, and then we play c4. That's the queen's gambit. Right. So you are opening the queen here, okay? By giving up this one kind of, right? Yes. And also there is a king's gambit. Correct. So when you are playing the king side pawn and all. King so yes, e4 they, they... and f4. Right. E4, so they... e5 and f4. Mm -hmm. There are many so I remember I played a game with you and in that you captured my queen and I captured your queen. So what was that? Exchange. You, That's you, called exchange. Yeah, you are exchanging that, but the advantage that you get, say for example, if these pawns are gone, okay, for example, let, let's play this, okay? I played this, I you played this, yeah. You captured, sorry, let me capture this. You captured. I captured and then you captured. Okay. For example, if this happens, now what is the advantage of capturing this queen? The king moves. The king will capture right? and it can't now castle. Right. So you are losing your castling right. So because of that, yeah. your king will always be in the center. Or if at all king needs to go inside, it will take more number of moves as compared to castling can be done in only one move. Right. Okay, so that this is the reason if you get the opportunity, you should capture it actually. Okay. Anyways, kids, coming back to the opening principle. So, control the center is one. Second one is developing the minor pieces like bishop and knight. Okay. Third one is you castle the king, right? Take the queen out. Out in the sense, not directly out. Actually, you can bring the queen here, connect, connect the rooks, okay? And then, uh, this, is, this is about what you should do. And another thing is, what you should not do is, you should not take the queen out initially, for example, like this. And you should never play f2 or f7 pawns, okay? Because it opens up the king, right? Yes, sir, and it's a fool's matter if we'll do that. Exactly. So, with these opening principles, Keeping it in mind, all the openings which are played, okay, or which we are going to study, it will be in line with the opening principles, okay. And in case if there are any divergence, I will talk about that as well, okay. So, kids, uh, the first one today we are going to learn, as I said, Roy Lopez. Let me just make a note of it for you, kids. The name is Roy Lopez opening. Okay. So you can note down as well uh, if you want. So we start with e4. Okay. Followed by now when, when you talk about e4, as I said, okay, e4 controls the center, right? Because of that, we play e4. So obviously the response from black side is e, e5. Okay, his intention is also same, controlling the center squares, right? Then we attack to this pawn with knight, okay? Now, ob objective is to attack on this pawn as well as control this center, right? So now you, you have more control over the center, okay? 
So I will just note here e4, e5. Okay, hyphen after hyphen after dash. What I am writing is from the black side. Okay, then you played knight to f3, and you are getting response. What response you you will get now here, kids? Sir, uh, uh, knight to c6. Knight to c6. Okay. So his intention is also to protect his own pawn as well as control this center. Okay. Knight to c6. And third thing. When you play bishop to b5, e5, bishop to b5, this is called as Roy Lopez. Roy Lopez opening. Okay. Yes. Now, and when black responds with knight to f6, it is the Berlin defense. Yes. Okay, so kids, is it the thing that we are going to stop here? Answer is no. Okay, now what we are going to do, okay, just make a note of it, this kids, okay. Royal Lopez opening, e4, e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop b5. Okay, and you need to memorize this, okay. Small thing, right? You can easily memorize. What is Royal Lopez opening? e4, e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to b5. That's it. Okay. This is called as Roy Lopez opening. Okay. Now, when what will be the response from black side now, kids? The next thing, there are two choices. Okay. Either he will play a6. Correct. When he play a6, what he is doing? Indirectly attacking on our bishop. He is saying you don't sit here. Okay. So we need play the response with a6. I will write here actually. Move number three only. But I am writing here response with a6 from black side. Okay. This is called as Morphe defense. Okay. Roy Lopez Morphe defense. And honestly speaking, kids, don't get too much worried about the names. Okay. If you do not remember the name, but still if you are managed to learn the moves and play, that is also okay for me. Right? Yes. End of the day. We just we... need to learn the moves, not the names of the openings. Right. The moves, learning the moves is important for us, not the names of the opening. However, if you can remember the moves as well as the opening names, very good. No, nothing wrong in it. Yeah. Rishabh, that's fine. But I, even if your brother, sister coming in the camera, that should not be a problem. Okay. Unless and until they are talking, talking and disturbing. Yeah, yeah. Unless and until they are talking and disturbing. Don't worry. Even if Kamwali Bai comes in the camera, Mummy Daddy, Dadi Dada. It is not a problem, okay? It's okay. Don't feel, uh, you know, uh, de defended for it, okay? It's okay. Because we cannot expect sir, a dedicated space for us. Yeah? Sir? Yes? Do we have to join back? Uh, no. We will stop here, actually, kids, for today. Okay? You just note down this. And let me tell you what benefit you are getting, okay? Now, what this Morphe defense is saying is you don't stand here. Okay, now when you play this, either it will go back or it will capture. Correct? When it captures, when it captures, it is called as exchange variation. Okay, Roy Lopez exchange variation. Now, what is the benefit that you are getting because of this? You are, this pawn is doubled, right? The pawn gets doubled as well as this pawn is now hanging. Okay. Now, whether we should capture it or not is a different matter. We will learn it in the next section. Okay? Okay, sir. We, but for now, 
up to this actually Let, let's talk about three three moves only kids okay e4 e5 knight to f3 knight to c6 bishop b5 this is royal lopez opening and responding with a6 is a morphe defense in royal lopez opening okay this is called as opening and this is called as variation okay because there are various possibilities we are going to study that actually okay but then these are the variations okay on that note kids we will stop here for today i will pass on this these notes to you along with this let me include some theory for uh, roy lopez i will pass on that information to you okay and just note it down in your notebook as well as start practicing with this okay it is okay you may lose the games initially but let's start practicing okay e4 e5 knight to f3 knight to c6 and bishop to b5 okay this is roy lopez okay so we have started a new journey kids i am sure it will be exciting and uh, you will enjoy learning that okay and we will apply that so on that note let us stop here for today we will meet next week till then have fun goodbye thank you sir bye sir bye, sir. bye.